Ever hear of rhythmic audio? You have now. Okay, rhythmic FVX 15, 15 inch ported audio file sub. Now I usually don't like when companies put the word audio file in something, but you know how you can tell a good company is when their website was designed in 1997 and nothing's changed. Look at the JPEG artifacting just in their logo. It's terrible, perfect, it's terribly perfect. Now. Rhythmic makes subwoofers and subwoofer amplifiers, and they'll sell you the amplifiers, and they'll sell you custom installation stuff, and they'll sell you the drivers, they'll sell you everything. But they also make completed subwoofers. And they make them in very small volume because they're not very easy to make. You see, Rhythmic is a servo sub. And what a servo sub is compared to a normal sub, a normal sub, a normal speaker, a normal anything, the amplifier says, do this, and the sub, it doesn't, it just does whatever it's, it's doing. It, it's over there doing its thing. Now, a servo sub, I'll talk in front of the good microphone. The amplifier says, the servo amplifier says, do this and tell me how it's going. And the servo, so the driver itself can report back where it is. So it says, go out to one, and it goes out, and it's like, I'm at 0.98. And it's like, that's not far enough. I'm going to give you a little more power until it hits one. And it says, come back really fast and stop at zero. And I'm, I'm coming back, but I'm only here. More power. It, it could vary the strength of the amplifier to get the actual physical driver where it needs to be. Instead of just throwing out power and hoping for the best. It's like, it's a Nazi subwoofer. Not a great analogy for a review, but we'll go with it anyway. It knows precisely, to precision, where it is. And it's like, all right, be here, then be here. And if you're not here, then I'm going to give you more power until you are here. And it's very, very, very accurate and tight. So, that should make it more expensive. A lot more expensive. Now, this one is the low power. And I'm going to say low power. It's 400 watts. And it's okay that it's 400 watts because it could just, where a normal subwoofer would maybe throw a thud of 300 watts or something, and it would hopefully get there. If the server reports it's not getting there fast enough, it puts the extra power behind it and moves it faster. There's a high power version of this. There's more money. It's the exact same sub as with a bigger amp. And frankly, I don't understand the, even the need for it. Because this room, which is it's not tiny, it's, it's 18 by 15 plus the end of the kitchen, uh, gets demolished by the subwoofer. Just demolished. Can you see it in there? Can you see it in there? Let's pull the cover off. Uh, unlike the SVS, which has a metal grill, this is a nylon stocking grill. It, there's nothing here. Do not let your cat get to this. I've had to hide this from Chewbacca for two months now. Over a month. Maybe it's been two months. I don't know. I've had this subwoofer for so long, I feel like I've married it. And we're just still going on the honeymoon. This, by the way, one inch thick, like MDF craziness. So it's a very pretty sub on top of everything else. We've got a 15 inch aluminum cone with a reversed dust cap. And then we've got two ports. And then this thing. The butt plug to end all butt plugs. Now, why are you stuffing a port, Zeos? We get to the more interesting part about this sub than just the fact that it's a servo sub. We get to screw up the power. That's number one. Let's fix that. We get to the back of it. Let me explain a little bit what's going on back here. You get three connections, left, right, and LFE. And LFE is just a summed left and right, so you don't have to use a com combiner. You get a standard volume gain control, min-max. You get the f standard phase delay, 0 to 180, so you can adjust the delay from the sound getting to it, to it making sound for how far from the room you are. Uh, that's something you really gotta, you gotta play with that a lot to get things right. Especially if you wanna match speakers. If, if that has a sound, you know, someone plays guitar, and this, because the subwoofer is gonna be slow. Bass gets to there slower, so you wanna delay something. Uh, crossover is a standard crossover layout, 30 to 120 hertz. Using this as an LFE, so it's all at 120. 
Now we got over here is just the power switch off, auto, and on. The interesting bits are these two switches. One is an LPF slope, low pass filter slope, which how hardcore it falls off on the very low end. And usually 12 is fine for movies and 24 is more for music. You don't want music to like have a hard stop ever. Let's be a big smooth ball. So you could do 24 slope or 12 slope. And I leave it on 12. If you're doing dedicated music, play with it. The other switch, however, 1P music, 1P home theater, and 2P bass extension switch. That specifically deals with the ports in the front of this unit. 2P, when you switch it to 2P, there's no other options, it's just 2P. And that gives you the absolute maximum output of this subwoofer. Well over 100 dB. Well over it. Even in the low power model. And that's the way normal subs come. But, this is a rhythmic sub, it's got this thing. So what you do is you stuff a port. That's cool. You stuff a port. And all of a sudden, instead of being able to reach 18 hertz at very, very high volume, it can reach 12 hertz at still very, very high volume. So two port, maximum kick-ass volume, destroy everything in their known existence. Then one port, home theater or music. Now, the difference between the home theater and music setting are just power given to frequency ranges. Uh, home theater is what I leave it on because it is my point one. Uh, when I have done music with it, I've switched it to music, and there's a slight smoothness added. It, it's still getting to 12 hertz. It just isn't taking that 12 hertz and shoving it in your face like a cream pie, which is what home theater subs should be doing. If you've got a sub that can reach 12 hertz, you basically build a plinth and you have it spin around because that's what it should be doing. Let's go do a test now that I've got the Rode microphone recorder running and I'm probably mixing this microphone over it so that you would just hear me because wandering around the room, like right now, if I'm just wandering around the room using just that microphone, it's going to sound a little weird. Irrelevant. I'm going to put on a scene from Sicario and I'm not sure if it's going to get me pulled or if I'm going to have to remove this part from the video, but... Not much of the gunfire, but the soundtrack associated with this movie. Really just the pounding bass is what we're about to demonstrate. Mission engaged. Mission to get out of the vehicle and set a perimeter. I should probably put both speakers on. One of the detriments of using powered monitors. You have to remember to turn them on. And not do that. Stay in your vehicle. You can do what they do. If they get out, you get out.
You want to test down to 12 hertz? There's only one thing that keeps popping up every time someone asks. Oh, you got a new home there, sub. You got to play uh, Edge of Tomorrow. There's an opening rumble in the Edge of Tomorrow. The very opening scene where it's just there's nothing going on. And for some reason, they decided to make it like a constant 16 hertz or something silly. And I should shut the speakers off for these previews. It'll demonstrate the sub a little more. But we're going to go through this one last bit. With just, just... Whoa. stupidest thing I've ever heard in this apartment. Everything lit up. Everything just stood up in this apartment and shook. More than the PSA had ever done. I'm going to actually turn that down a bit and we're going to try that again. Just a couple notches. It is a notched volume. So you do get to go click, 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 click and figure out exactly where you're leaving it. I'm going to move the recorder now since we're just going for absolute, let's see how stupid the stupid is. I'm sorry. Gotta take the battery back up. Gotta take all this stuff. It's very important. Very high end reviews Zeos does here. Put you down. We'll put it right here in the epicenter of uh, where the crazy people live. A series of Oh, did it not back it up? All my bottles of liquor, all of them, all the liquor bottles just shaking off the table. So, if you're going to buy a rhythmic sub, and I suppose right this moment you're considering it, make damn sure you live in a building made of very, very soft materials. In fact, nothing hard at all would probably be the best bet. Like a log cabin, a wood, a nice soaking wet log cabin would be ideal. No other sub sounds like this sub does. No other sub does what this sub does that I've heard yet. And until I hear another direct servo sub, I'm going to say that's the reason. Just for kicks and shits and giggles. I'll take the bug out. Set it to 2p. Click it down one more notch and repeat that test. Just for myself now. This is not for you. Nothing in my entire world makes sense anymore. It isn't like where I talked about the PSA 15, the, the vented one that I said it was too big for the room. I hear the bass everywhere. The problem is that all the physics in the world hear the bass as well. They just start shaking. So you gotta really consider how much bass you can handle in the structure you're in before you look at a rhythmic sub. I'm at 14 minutes, not bad. Put on some music, switch to the music. We're gonna do one port, 24, fade out. We'll kick it up another two notches. Pick a port, any port. And of course, that is a sweet spot for my room. And I actually, before I started this review, I had it up on these uh, phone blocks, my very famous speaker stand slash headphone stand. And now I'm telling you, some of stand uh, phone blocks, they are just silly. Close that. Switch to my ODAC, because 
it's a separate thing because the ODAC DAC that hangs out back there is still I can hear it's cleaner than the Tascam's built-ins. Now the able to, the way I should do this, I should shut the speakers off so you just hear the sub. I think we just covered that. Let's put on something just everything below 50 hertz. So that's what we're running with right now. Everything. I could hear, I could hear the resonant frequency with this song of every single piece of this apartment. This up here, the, uh, my exposed uh, heater vent, I could hear when that rattles. That rattle fades away and then all of a sudden I hear the ladder back there just start rattling. And then the pots come in. It's like an orchestra. It's like something from Fantasia that's terribly animated and annoying. This isn't a bad thing. It's just this apartment is not currently set up for the insane bass that this rhythmic is throwing. You got dedicated home theater room. Absolutely. If you're a college kid and you're in a concrete structure, you could probably get away with it. But if you're in a living environment, and you have pots and pans and racks and pots hanging on a glass table with glass bottles on it, you're pretty screwed, buddy. You're going to be screwed because you're going to buy one. You're going to buy one, and then you're going to be screwed. What I like about Rhythmic as the company, let me see if I can get some... Uh... Wow. All right. It's actually moving the microphone on the stand. Which I don't know how it's affecting the recording quality of it, but that's pretty impressive that it's shaking that piece of marble. Here, I just did it. Yeah, see? It's moving the marble enough to make the thing twist. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. I like Rhythmic, I was saying, because they don't just sell... PSA sells 15-inch subwoofers. That's it. 15 inch and dual 15, more 15 inch. SBS sells 12s and some weird 13s that they custom make and then 15s, they're all way high price. But Rhythmic here have two eight inch models. Dual eights, but they're eight inch. And they have 12s, seven different types of 12 inch model. And then five different types of 15 inch model. And they sell just the drivers, or they sell just the amplifiers if you want to build your own sub. They do custom install stuff. They are a subwoofer company, and they've been one for years. And these subwoofers, that thing, that thing is stupid. The best stupid. Look how small the plate amp is. It's not even a massive heat sink plate amp, it's this little tiny thing. It's because it's all servo controlled, it's all digital servo. And I, uh, God, I love it. Mid bass subwoofer. Even announces a mid bass subwoofer with selectable 50 hertz high pass filter. Ah! If you're looking for a subwoofer, look real hard. You're going to look at SVS. You're going to look at PSA if you follow any of my videos. Then you're going to look at Rhythmic and you're going to go, oh, this site. And then you're going to end up buying one. What is that? Oh! How much? Black aluminum cone drivers or silver. Well, you can get this one, dual 15s, sealed. It says sealed, sealed. Dual of those drivers for $1,500. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. You can get this sub. This. How much does it weigh? How much does this sub weigh? I need to know about it before I, I give you the uh, choice. 800 watt, servo controlled, 14 hertz. So not as low as this, because this one's ported and that one's sealed. But that's still 14 hertz. And it weighs. Where's the fucking weight? 220 pounds 170 with no pallet so you get a 170 pound 800 watt dual servo controlled subwoofer for $1,500 or for $200 more a set of uh, Audi's LCD X's these are the choices in today's world it's just it's distracting Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you could miss it. That isn't the quote I'm going for for Ferris Bueller. It's, if you have the means to pick one up, it is choice. It is choice. I have nothing else to say to my good microphone or to the movies or the music. I mean, we want to talk about how the... It's good for music because of how tight it is. You get a good car kick, you get a, a nice bass guitar going, you, you feel it. You feel exactly how tight it is compared to other subs, compared to the SVS, compared to the PSAs. PSAs can do the volume. PSAs have doubled the power of this, which is only like 3 dB, but irrelevant to that statement, they still claim that it's double the RMS power. This thing, though, you can actually shook the plug out of the wall. This thing shook the plug out of the wall. Sad now because they're gonna want this back. Unless they give me a real good deal, and then I'll buy a second because I'm stupid and I want to.